Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Collins. This is another rendition of me addressing worldly issues in a godly way. Recently, I've made some videos about how black men are the boogeymen of society. Black men are constantly being vilified, whether it be in the media, in sports, in feature films, etc. And with the recent high profile convictions of both Bill Cosby and Suge Knight, the cycle is constantly being perpetuated still to this day. Recently, a high-profile YouTuber named Philip Scott, who hosts a platform called The Elias Media Show, was put on blast because he has a non-black wife. He was constantly, he was talked about, he was ridiculed, he was maligned, and a lot of people were upset and felt that he was a hypocrite, felt that he lied to them and deceived them for the simple fact that he didn't disclose his wife's information or who his wife was and they thought that they think that you can't be pro-black and not be married to a black spouse well there is some validity to that I can see where people are going with this but the fact that he didn't put out who his wife was that really shouldn't even be an issue because when you get on YouTube to get on these platforms you're not there to see people's spouses you're there to see them so he didn't put on his family or his wife's information out for that fact. He stated that because he's received death threats in the past on his channel, he didn't want to come back on his family. He didn't want his family to be subjected, subjugated to these attacks, which is understandable as well, because when people attack you, they want to attack your families as well. But, um... Many people blasted him for it. A lot of people spoke about it on YouTube. One particular YouTuber named Brother Sanchez was very vocal with how he felt about Phil for the simple fact he thought Phil flagged one of his videos and he became very erratic and talked about Phil in some manners which is not really repeatable. And he did that because he thought he once again he thought Phil flagged one of his videos he did it out of anger out of rage I'm not sure if it was any personal malice he had toward Phil but he thought Phil would, had a slight toward him so this whole thing about him not being married to a black woman has become a big issue so yesterday I, and I did see both I did see the, the rant that Sanchez had and it wasn't very wasn't very um, nice, I will admit. But yesterday, another YouTuber, high-profile YouTuber named O'Shea Jackson, a lot of you know him, was gracious enough to lend his platform and be a mediator of sorts between Phil and between Brother Sanchez. Both men had a chance to voice what happened, voice the situation, voice... Phil's situation, Phil mostly talked about the, the situation going on with him and his wife. His wife is Mexican-American, or, or, or what you would consider a white Mexican. And Brother Sanchez, um, he voiced how he felt. Brother Sanchez felt that he, he didn't understand what was going on. That's why he blasted Phil the way he did. He thought Phil blasted. He thought Phil flagged one of his videos. He thought Phil had some malice toward him, which was not the case. Phil was able, I mean, Sanchez apologized to Brother Philip, and the men were both very amicable toward each other. Now, I, I said all that to say this, because this is not only about Phil, it is about Phil, but it is also about black men in general. Like I just said, with the recent hope, with the recent convictions of Suge Knight and Bill Cosby, black men could use a breath of fresh air right now. The fact that O'Shea, who's been known in the past as a coon, he's been called a coon before, and I admit I've been one of them in the past, he was gracious enough to open up his platform. You see, the thing is, is that, and, and I commend O'Shea's impartiality in this whole matter, the thing I want to mention is that people see black men as just another stepping stone on the way up. They see us as 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 riffraff, as trash. And then the fact that they don't like to see black men come together 
with solutions, come together and talk it out. That is another thing that is not shown in the media a lot. And the fact that these three men were to come together on this platform, talk it out, should speak volumes because as black men, we can come together. We can work things out in a peaceful manner. It doesn't always have to be with guns and with fighting. And I believe I've even said this before. This, what I'm saying is starting to sound a little bit familiar to me. But we should not be blasting each other on social media or anywhere else in public anyway. A lot of the things that we have not learned how to do yet is the, the issue, is the, the work out our issues behind closed doors. We still have not learned how to work things out in an agreeable way. We have learned to agree to disagree. The fact that the O'Shea's even stepped forward to bring these men to the forefront to talk about should say something. Now we know O'Shea has a, a platform known as the Negro Manosphere, which serves to talk to men. And a lot of people have actually ridiculed and, and, and have even misunderstood that. Now, like I stated before, that the Manosphere was designed for black men to come together and develop and strengthen other black men. Do you have some misogynistic, MGTOW thinking type of men on there? Yes, you do. But everyone is not like that. And I'm starting to see that for myself. Are there some things about the Manosphere that I still don't understand myself? Of course. But it can be worked out. That's why you research things. When Philip and Sanchez got together, it wasn't a bunch of name calling. It wasn't a bunch of, I'm going to take you outside. It wasn't a bunch, a bunch of, I'm going to see you. No, it was two men talking side by side with each other. Well, not side by side, but two men talking on the same platform together trying to work out their issue. This is something that we don't see enough of black men. This is an image that is not shown enough, and purposely so, because they want to see black men, the media wants to show black men as, as dangerous, as malicing, as menacing, as, as wretched men who are no good, oversexed, etc. I, I can go on. And I was glad to see this happen yesterday so I wanted to <clears throat> sorry I'm proud of brother Sanchez I'm proud of Phil and I'm proud of O'Shea for them coming together some people may not some people really didn't want to see them come together some people love drama I stated this before that a lot of drama particularly in the black YouTube sector comes from this may come as a surprise to some people but a lot of it comes from the so called pro black and be one crowd and I may get some flack for this but I gotta be truthful and I gotta be honest about it because I've seen it myself because I and speaking from recent experience I know what it's like to be dragged and what it's like to be personally made a pariah out of but black men are not the enemy black men are not the the, the beast not the the menaces to society that they want to make us out to be. We are some thinking, feeling beings. We can come together and we can hash things out in a peaceful way. We need to be the ones who put our images out. We don't need to have the media do it. And this, this is another thing I want to say also as well, particularly with black YouTube, what we, so, so many of us are railing against white supremacy and white people and everything having to do with racism. But I'm starting to see myself now, it's not necessarily the white supremacists that are the problem, but our own people that are the problem. Once again, I speak from my own personal experience. But this is not about me and my personal experience. This is about making black men great again. So this is about black men coming together and working out their issues. And no, this is not a slight toward black women. This is not a diss toward black women. I'm not throwing shade at black women. I came from a black woman. I love black women. I have relatives that are black women. And I want to be married someday to a black woman. But right now, I'm not talking to black women. I'm talking to black men. I wanted to say to these brothers, I'm proud of you. And that is something that we don't do enough as black men. 
we don't come and embrace each other. We don't come and wrap, wrap our arm around each other and say, good job. We don't do that enough because we're always being made, once again, to look like brutes, look like, well, I just made it. I just already said what I, what I need to say. But it, once again, this should be an example that black men can come together and even on a platform such as YouTube to work out issues in a peaceful manner. What O'Shea did with Brother Philip and Brother Sanchez, I think should be commendable, should be commended. And like I stated before, there have been some times when I've had issues with O'Shea and O'Shea reached out to me. O'Shea reached out to me the way he reached out to Philip and Brother Sanchez. And Brother Philip and Brother Sanchez, once again, I appreciate you guys' platforms. Sometimes you're not going to always please everyone. You're not going to always do things that's going to be acceptable by everyone. But you keep on doing what you got to do, and you go on, and you go forth. Once again, I may get some flack for this video. I hope I don't. I mean, I still love you, my people. I, I still do. I hope you still love me. But I got to say what's what. I got to call it ace ace and a spade a spade. Anyway, everyone, let me know what you think. Yeah, am I doing the right thing here? Um, am I saying something that makes sense? Let me know. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Let me know what. Once again, like, comment, and support the video. Got to get myself used to <laughs> saying a different thing. Anyway, like, comment, and support the video. Support the channel. Hit the bell notification icon when you so you can receive prompts and notifications. Blah. And support the channel financially at paypal.me forward slash the real Aaron Collins. And once again, everyone, God loves you. I love you. Let's do life.